What do all these movies have in common? I'm in them. Well, sort of. I'm going to show you four easy ways to train Alora using a bunch of selfies so you can star in your own movies. Even if you're like me and you don't like looking at photos of yourself, there's something hilariously enjoyable about seeing yourself in the uncanny valley. I'm going to compare four tools that let you train Alora to generate images of yourself. Leonardo AI, EverArt, Runway, and Full Journey. All right, here's how this comparison will work. I'm gonna upload the same training images for each service and then use the same prompts to generate images. And for the ones that let you do video, I'll generate a video from one of those images as well. I asked ChatGPT for help creating training images. It told me to get a variety of poses, angles, expressions, lighting variations, background diversity. I tried to get shots where the light hit my face differently. I don't always wear glasses, but I got some, with and without glasses. I made sure to include medium shots, wide shots, profile shots. I got a few expressions, but I kind of wish I had done more, because as you'll see, the images will stay very close to the poses and expressions from the training data. I took all of these with the front-facing camera on my iPhone using the square mode. Nothing fancy. All right, the first one up is Leonardo AI. You'll launch the app, sign up if you haven't created an account already. On the left, you'll see training and data sets. Then you'll create a new data set. So the data set is just the collection of photos that we've created. Give your data set a name. I just gave it my name and a description. So then I selected all 40 of the images that I created. You can see it uploads them. Once they're all uploaded, click train model. And the model name is there, Mike. There's the description. Um, I'm using Stable Diffusion 1.5, and it says to keep it at 512 by 512. The category is characters, and then you do an instance prompt. So keep this simple because you'll need to include it in the prompts that they use. I just said, based on their recommendation, I just chose a character named Mike. Then you click Start Training. That's going to take a little bit of time, so we'll come back to Leonardo after we train the other services. All right, the next one is EverArt. I heard about EverArt from Real Robot. If you like tutorials like this, go check out Real Robot. Now, in order to do this one, you're going to have to sign up for the $15 a month creator plan. All right, once you've signed up, go to Your Styles, and over here, click Create New Style. All right, I called this one Mic 2, not because it's the second one that we've done, but just for some technical reasons I won't go into. Um, but you could just choose your name for this one as well. After that, you can upload all of your images. I did the same 40 for this one. So since this is a photo shoot with a consistent person, we'll choose the person type. All right, then I uploaded all those. Um, if you want to make it public, you can. I'm not going to make it public. And then you just click Submit. That's easy. So it uploads it and it says, we'll let you know when it's ready. Let's move on to the third one. All right, here's the Runway version. So you log into Runway. You may have to click View All Tools. And then you'll scroll down and you'll see train your own generator. I created one about seven months ago, um, but I wanted to use the same images that I used for all of the others. So I'm gonna have another secondary one here. So you can click on train a character generator and it's gonna cost a thousand credits. I'm not sure how it works anymore. When I signed up for Runway, one was included. This is the second one. So you may have to buy additional credits. Right now it's about $10 to train a new model. Once you sort that out, you'll drag and drop all of your images. It only does 30, I realized. I thought it was 40, but for Runway, they only do 30. They only take the first 30. So I'm not sure which 10 weren't included. I didn't bother going through, but I didn't select 30. I just let it choose 30. All right, once they're all uploaded, you click Next. Give it a keyword. This is the word you'll use in your prompt. And then you train the character generator. All right, that one's going, so let's do our fourth one. So the fourth one is Full Journey. Full Journey runs off of a Discord server, just like Mid Journey and a lot of other services that you probably use. So I have the Founders plan. It's unlimited images, videos, everything. It's great, I love it. For this, you would only need the $10 a month Founders image only plan. Now it says image only, but you can actually click one of the buttons that I'll show you in a second, which allows you to convert the images to video. And unlike the other services, there's not a credit limit. You're not getting credits or tokens. You just have an unlimited amount that you can use for the month. I think it's an amazing deal. And I don't know how they're doing it, but they're doing it. There's two extra steps that you'll have to do to train it here, but they're pretty easy. One is that you have to put all of the images in the zip folder. 
But before you do that, make sure that all of the files are smaller. I made the mistake of trying to go through this process and I kept getting an error message. Couldn't figure out what the problem was, so I tried to upload it and then I realized, oh, Discord has a 25 megabit limit. So make sure that all 40 images are less than 25 megabytes when you create the zip. Once you have all of the images in a zip file that's under 25 megs, you're gonna type slash Laura create from zip. And once you start typing Laura, I see all of the other commands come up. You're gonna give it a name. This is the name that will show up that you'll have to type in later and you wanna use that Laura, so keep it simple. Then you attach the file. All right, and now I know it worked because it says your model is being trained and it's gonna take about 15 minutes. When it's ready, you'll get a direct message in Discord. All right, let's see how Leonardo did. We're gonna to go to image generation and here in the featured model, we're gonna scroll down to where it says select other model and click the tab that says your models. And there it says Mike. We're gonna click view and then generate with this model. So now you can see here in the featured model, it says Mike. All right, so I'm gonna use the same four prompts for all of them. And here's the first one. And they want you to use the instance prompt. So that was the thing that I typed in earlier where I said a character named Mike. So I'm gonna change, this is the only thing I'm gonna change for these is for all of the ones in Leonardo, I'm gonna say a character named Mike instead of Mike. And some of the other ones I'll say Mike 2. Every generation costs credit, so I chose number of images one and generated one. And it was terrible. I mean, I can actually see myself in the image. It looks like this is the one that was taken in my front yard. So I realized what I have to do is use this alchemy, which is a paid feature, and they're, they look much nicer. I tried to use photo real, but I couldn't use my fine-tuned model. I chose that. You can also add these other styles in here. And they're better. I mean, they're not amazing, but they're good. That's a pretty good one. Even though I had enough credits to generate more images, I only had a certain number of alchemy generations to use. If you're just using the free plan, that's one thing to look out for. The lowest tier paid plan that will allow you to do this with Leonardo is $12. So if you like Leonardo, I think it's worth it. All right, so I came back a day later and I did all of the other ones. Here's the intergalactic pilot. And I made sure that I'm using a character named Mike. This one was a pretty far miss from what I actually look like, in my opinion. This one also doesn't look like me, but it resembles me, if, if that makes sense. Like, if this was someone in a movie, people turn to me and be like, oh my god, that guy kind of looks like you. This is me as a harpooner on a whaling ship. The night failed miserably. It just put a helmet over me, which was kind of disappointing. And then I ran out of alchemy again. But I still had credits to turn these into videos, which you can do by going to the image and choosing Generate Motion Video. Give it a motion strength. I chose to bump up the motion a little bit. It takes 25 credits. So that's kind of a lot. And then you just click enter. And that's great. I mean, look at the head. A lot of times when a head will turn in AI video, it gets really blurry or the features change. Like it starts to look like a different person. This keeps um, a very similar look. It looks like it's an actual camera move. The face remains consistent. I'm very impressed with Leonardo's video capabilities. And another one of the... Whaler, it's just okay. All right, now let's go try those prompts in EverArt. So we'll paste our intergalactic pilot prompt in there. Um, I chose widescreen, and then I just made sure that um, under the selected style that it was using mic two. And then you click this little paper airplane icon. You'll see it does four images. So you're gonna always, every time you choose a prompt, it's gonna take away four images. There's no way that I've been able to see where you can do less. Sometimes I think the pricing is really weird, how the tokens work. Um, you know, it'd be like 25 tokens for four seconds, or in, like you have no idea, you have to do all of this math. I like that it's very clear. One, two, three, four, <laughs> minus four. So these turn out great. So here are some of the training images for reference, just so you can kind of get a sense of how closely it matches the facial features. Sometimes you'll see little lines like this. Is, I think I was wearing glasses. There's like a funny line around my eye there. All right, so now I'm gonna try the cyberpunk one. They kind of look like me, but not like one of them does, I guess. I guess they look okay. <laughs> I feel like that's an alternate reality version of me. Um, here's the harpooner on a whaling ship. Here are the ones that we generated for the knights. They have this option where you can give me more ideas for prompts. So I just wanted to see how would it do with their prompts. I think it's just pulling these prompts from like ChatGPT or something like that because it has the same style of prompt delivery that ChatGPT creates. You can click the button, it'll give you some ideas, and it says a close-up of a coral reef. I decided to put myself in it, so I just said, um, Mike swimming in a vibrant coral reef. And, you know, two of them have my face in it. Two out of four, that's not bad. It's kind of funny. 
I decided to see if I could do myself as a Fortnite character. You know, based on the training data, there's kind of a limit to how far it can stretch um, what it can do, I think. Overall, I think the images you get from EverArt are great in terms of just visual consistency to your own face. They do a great job. Now, having said that, in order to turn any of these into videos, which is what my ultimate goal is, I have to bring them into another tool. It's kind of a nice compliment to Runway because Runway has great video stuff, but their image generator, I think, is not great. All right, here's Runways. I'm gonna go to generate images and then text to image. I'm gonna choose widescreen and 2K resolution. And I'm just gonna choose um, one output. I'm not gonna add any styles. One thing I wanna say about Runway is if you don't save the images, they don't automatically get saved to your assets. So you can generate a bunch of images. And then if you refresh the page, they're completely gone. I don't know if that's just a bug that was happening when I was testing this, but it happened to me twice. All the other services, you can go back and see the images that you've generated. You can do that with video with Runway. So I'm not sure why you can't do it with their images, but that's why I caution you. Save the images. We're gonna do the first prompt. And then from this drop down here, the one that's trained on the same images as all the others is called Mike parentheses one. So that's the one I'm gonna choose for this. All right, and here's the pilot. I don't know, see what I mean? They, they don't have, <laughs> I don't know. It's not great. Here's another one, kind of interesting helmet and stuff, but I don't know, doesn't really look like me. I tried adding this graphic novel style. It looks nothing like me. Um, and then I realized I added this keyword Mike at the end twice. So there's two of me there, but neither of them actually look like me. Um, tried some other styles. That one definitely looks like someone, but it's not me. Who is that? I don't know. Here's the harpooner. I don't know. It, he looks like the skipper on Gilligan's Island, if anyone remembers that one. That looks like me. I can almost see my one of the outfits that I was wearing, but it doesn't really capture the 19th century vibe that much. All right, same thing for the night. I mean, maybe I'm doing these wrong, but they look nothing like me. You know what I mean? Like this does not even closely resemble me. None of these do. I'm putting the keyword in, I'm selecting my model. I have no idea. I like this style though, this 3D, 3D render style. It kind of looks like a video game. It's kind of hard to tell, but it has like this, you know, cool video game 3D render style. I like their style, it just doesn't look like me. So let's say you want to turn these into a movie, you save them to your assets because there's not a way to just send them to Gen 2 right now. We go to Gen 2, text to image, um, select from assets, and then we can just add some, you know, general motion, general motion camera controls in here. This is like what Runway's great at, you know, like they have all of this control kind of stuff, this sort of camera control and, you know, the motion brush, obviously, which I've done a video on. This is what Runaway is great at. I'll use the motion brush and just kind of like get my head to move there. Only reason to use the Runway version is if you're already paying for it and it's included in your plan. Even though it's only $10 to add an additional image generator, I would just take that $10 and put it towards any of the other services. And then if you wanna bring the images into Runway, you can do that. So Full Journey has a little Laura help guide channel here do all of this with the founders image only plan, which allows you to do the images and also allows you to click this button that we're going to click that will turn those into videos. So I'm going to type slash make for the image command. And then it's going to give me an area for the prompt. I'll paste the first prompt in there. And then there's this plus five more button and you'll click that and it'll say Laura. And then this is where we named the Laura's and we named it Mike two. You can always type slash my Laura if you forget what you named them. Did this and I realized I forgot to make them. So these came out square. The switch in full journey is wide if you want 16 by nine. So I had to redo it with the slash wide. Made sure that I add my mic to Laura in there. And it doesn't matter. Like I didn't lose any credits. This is unlimited. I could have made a hundred mistakes. I'll paste the cyberpunk one in there. I'll paste the night in there. As you can see, these come out really good, I think. I mean. They resemble me. If I like that one, I can just go, so it's one, two, three. And then this is one, two, three. And I can get variations on that particular one. So again, these don't really have the 19th century vibe right now, um, but let's turn this one into a movie. We just go down here, it's the fourth one. So we'll click the fourth popcorn button. This uses stable video diffusion to generate a short video from that image. 
what I love about Fold Journey is that it gives you the opportunity to create and iterate and experiment without thinking about, am I using up too many credits? Am I gonna have to buy more tokens? In a lot of the services, it seems like only one in four results is usable. So you're just throwing away so many credits on unusable stuff. So it doesn't bother me when I see something unusable in Fold Journey, because I can just redo it. The other thing I can do is upload some of the images I created in EverArt, upload them and use the image to video command, which is slash I2V, and it will give me a video of those images as well. I mean, this one turned out nice. So that's four easy ways to create an image generator. Now you can go make movies in any style you want, doing anything you want. It's super fun. It really is so fun. You should try it out. I'm gonna do a few more in-depth tutorials on creating Laura's. So if you like this kind of stuff, please do subscribe. And if you watch this and you make a video with yourself, please put a link in the comments. I would love to see it.